Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she precious? Less than one minute Oh, I never thought Through love we'd be Making one as lovely as she But isn't she lovely Made from love Isn't she pretty Truly the angel's best Boy, I'm so happy We have been heaven blessed I can't believe what God has done Through us, he's given life to one But isn't she lovely May come on. Hey guys, Kinsey Restricted coming at you. It is May the 4th. Um, I am 28 weeks, that means third trimester officially, um, and 91 weeks post-op white band, don't quote me on that. Uh, yeah, so this morning I had an ultrasound to see my little Dada Bagada. Um, I don't know why I call her that, but um, yeah, I do. Anyways, so I got lots of pictures, like lots of pictures, um, pictures and pictures and they like print crazy um picture and I won't show you the other ones because okay I don't know why but I hate those I just sounded real country just then um I hate those 3d x-ray x-rays 3d ultrasounds um totally wigs me out I never look at those of anybody's child and think oh that's so cute I always think ooh smush baby face gross um and they were doing the ultrasound, or the doctor was doing the ultrasound, and all of a sudden she like switched the screen to another program, and it was like, bam, 3D ultrasound. I was like, I don't, I don't know what to say. I just laid there and looked at the screen like, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Um, so I did get some pictures, but my child knows her mother, and she put her hand in front of her face, so uh, you really couldn't see anything. So I was like, thank God. Um, so I sent the picture to my mom, and she was like, why did you have that done? I hate those and I'm like thank you someone else in this world who knows my feeling for 3d ultrasounds um, if you've had a 3d ultrasound I'm sorry I um, I'm sure your child was beautiful in it my child looks weird sorry I just think it looks weird um, I did go and see okay so I went and saw my prenatal specialist which is like the one that does the ultrasound I have two different doctors um, one because of my lap band but not really because it doesn't affect me so much it doesn't affect my pregnancy um, and but mainly because she does like the really in in detailed um, ultrasound so they just send you across the street to the hospital no big deal and then I saw Dr. Bertrand who is my like OB the man that will deliver Dorothy I'll put his picture here he's so cute right and he's like literally has 12 kids of his own so, I basically call him Jim Bob Duggar, but not to his face. Don't tell him that. Anyways, I, um, I had a little emotional breakdown this morning at the doctor's office. Um, I am officially 214 pounds. That is uh, two pounds over my day of surgery weight. That's not my heaviest weight. My heaviest weight was 246. Um, but the day of surgery, I weighed 212 pounds, and today I weigh 214 pounds. Um, emotionally, that's very, very, very hard for me to swallow. Um, physically, um, the only part of me that I really look at and don't like is like my arms and my legs. Um, everything else is like, kind of looks normal to me. I don't know, I think I'm getting a little double chin action happening again. But, um, yeah, that's been really, really tough. And I started crying to him, so he just like hugged me in the office this morning because um, yeah, that's tough. And then I had to have a glucose test to find out if I have diabetes, which pretty, I'm gonna pretty much say, yeah, I probably do. Um, I, they make you drink this drink that tastes like tang, like super, super intense sweet. Um, and then I had to wait an hour. Well, when I went back in to get my blood drawn after the hour, the, speaking of, do I have a bruise? No. Um, the girl, I told, I just randomly said to the girl, ooh, I hate the way this makes me feel. 
And she was like, oh, do you feel really sleepy? And I was like, no, I feel really jittery. Like my fingers were super tingly and I just felt like I was shaking. Um, and she was like, oh yeah, you'll be back again to do like the three hour glucose test. So we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully I do not have diabetes. That would totally suck. Um, I don't know what happens if I do. She said something about being on some kind of like restricted diet, which I should be anyways. Hello. Um, not the diet I am on, which is like Jack in the Box, fast food, Taco Bell. That's my diet. Um, and so really to complain about my weight gain is sort of stupid to me. It really is just me being an idiot. So um, other than that, I'm whatever. I do want to show y'all Dottie's room. Um, it doesn't even look like a nursery, so don't judge me because I, uh, I realized later like, oh, I don't have a crib yet and this doesn't look like a baby's room at all. So I'll just post a picture of like what I have so far. Um, yeah, that's interesting, huh? Uh, we are getting a crib, but my brother is going to give me a crib, so I will have a crib. She's not going to sleep on a full-size bed. That's weird. Uh, other than that, I'm going to do a grocery haul. I'm going to make a separate video for that. I won't make this uber long or anything. Um, but yeah, I appreciate it. There has been so many, so many sweet comments, um, on the post that I put on Facebook or the status update. Um, I love you guys so, so much. I seriously could not do any of this weight loss surgery without you guys. Like, I was lost, obviously, you know, the first six months of my weight loss surgery adventure. And then when I found you guys, it was like, holy mackerel. It was like, the light. Um, yeah, so a lot of things have been changing in our house. I don't know if I told you, told you guys. Um, yeah, we've been doing a lot of, like, home repair stuff, home redecorating kind of things. Um, I'm trying to make the house into, like, a cave because, um, we got solar screens and then we already had, like, those, um, you know, like, the really fat blinds that are supposed to, like, help with the light. Um, and then now we've been getting blackout curtains to put on all of the windows, which are so expensive. Holy bejesus. Um, I went to Target today. Let me just show you this. This guy, it's just a rod. I mean, literally, it's a rod. Um, $22. But <laughs> the girl, the, the checkout, you see this, like, tiny little barcode right here? I don't know if y'all can see that. Anyways, um, she couldn't get it to scan, so she just asked me how much is it, and I was like, about $22. Bucks. Like, I think it was like $22.95 or something. Well, she went to put in $22, and she totally put in, 20, like, $2.20, and I was just like... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Um, and then we bought these curtains. I can show you. I'll show you guys in the room. Anyway, so they're just like a neutral color. Our house is kind of like neutral colored anyway. So um, I'm not real big on color because I think it goes out of style too quickly. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm going to do my food haul now because my food is still sitting out since I got back from the grocery store. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in another video. Bye.